Awesome. So uh, today I'll quickly show the uh, basically what we have new in 118 beta for SPFX. As uh, Vesa already mentioned, we released the first beta yesterday. Uh, it provides uh, new possibilities for card views. Now, first of all, you're getting more flexibility with uh, mixing and matching different components on the card views. Plus, we are providing new uh, capabilities to include uh, text inputs in the card views. And we have a brand new uh, template for card view for search scenarios uh, that provides you like a search box and also the footer where you can have any information you want. Uh, in my case, it's just a sample for the people search, but you can do document search or whatever search you, you like. So uh, this uh, allows you to have more engagement with your cards on your uh, dashboard. So in these scenarios, I have some survey like uh, for the movies, I click submit. Uh, you can expect that this information is sent uh, somewhere. Uh, another sample for technical support. Again, if I uh, type something in here, click send, it will open the uh, Teams in my case. And this is everything is just a custom code. So basically, you can do whatever you want. But the good thing about that is uh, the information from the input is uh, available for the uh, developer so uh, it's slow but yeah you can see it is appearing in the chat here so basically it's it's pretty straightforward so uh, you can grab information from the text input and do whatever you want with that uh, same for people search and uh, I'll be showing the uh, code for this one today uh, again we have a search bar here if I do something like that search loading and I got results for the uh, like the the uh, Alex in that case uh, I have some additional information about him. Uh, so yeah, everything is available, uh, pretty rich scenarios that you can uh, implement. And now let's jump to the code and uh, I'll show you some uh, differences, some uh, new things that we are providing. So for card views now, all the new card views will be extended from base components card view. And the difference between this one and uh, like previous, uh, we don't have, uh, data getter we don't have card buttons getter uh, instead of that we have this new property called card view parameters and in these card view parameters you're basically describing uh, the whole layout of the uh, card view so if you look at the uh, what we're returning from here we are returning search card view it's a helper that allows you to provide less information that uh, the actual types contain but uh, we are providing card bar this is where you have the icon and the title you should provide header in our case it will be text in the body we want the search box and for footer we want to provide these uh, suggested uh, elements suggested footer uh, with the suggested person that we grab from the uh, microsoft graph so this is how you now uh, should configure the uh, card views it's a bit more flexible it doesn't mean that you can uh, use like any uh, custom components or any type of components uh, in the card views we are still enforcing rules we are enforcing rules uh, what components can be mixed and match uh, matched on the card but still it provides more flexibility as right now it's not like hey just a basic card view or a primary text card view or image you can mix and match them you can combine them uh, yeah and uh, in that case for example you can have image card view that also has a text input in the body so much more flexibility and uh, we will be of course expanding this in future uh, one more thing i want to uh, showcase here if i go to my uh, the adaptive card extension itself. Uh, if you look at the on before action, so you can override this uh, method and uh, you will get the information about uh, what action is going to happen. Like for example, in, in my case, it's a quick view, but additional thing here now with the quick view uh, arguments, we are provi providing data uh, property in the same or a similar way as for action submit uh, actions. And uh, this is basically how you collect data from these inputs. So everything you see here, everything the user 
typed in the text input or in the search, this information will be available as part of your data. So this is how you basically can grab information from the card view and sync it through the state to the quick view and basically vice versa as well. And that's probably everything I have. Thank you.